Recently, I made the goal I need to be a lot more productive than what I currently am. Um, it's the kind of concept where you can't quit while you're ahead. Just because you're, you've done things in the past doesn't mean that you can't do more things now. Um, your progress is only relative to, you know, what you believe you can accomplish. And so if I have, if I believe that what I've already accomplished is, you know, good enough, um, that's insinuating that I'm already, I'm already done as far as my life goes. My peak of what I've achieved has already passed. And that is by no means true. It's just hard to have a vision for things that you can't see, but that's where you 100% need to rely on God because he sees it all. He's the one that put in my heart and in my mind the goals and the desires that I have currently, what I want to achieve. And it basically took me a long time to accept what he was trying to tell me. But once I did accept it, it just it came with a lot of, um, I guess, stringent requirements. And we're not always so willing to stick up to to those requirements, I guess, to follow them, to to live life in the exact way that will produce the results. Even though we want those results, sometimes we're not willing to put in, you know, all the effort. And that's okay because we're imperfect. But um, if it becomes a repeated habit of a custom of ignoring the signs and the signals that God is giving you and continuing to do your own thing your own way, then you will have to live with not seeing the results that you want. And so recently I've had the, the thought that maybe I should start recording more often posting more videos. Um, even though no one watches these, even though I only have 50 subscribers, it does not matter because the result that will come from it is a personal growth and development of my own character, which is far more valuable than views or likes or comments. And so I'm going to continue going. One thing I've realized in the past is that with the increased um, output, like the volume of videos, the more videos I produce, the less effort I was giving over time, I was basically just getting into the habit of just saying a few things like, you know, rambling. I have a lot of good ideas. And so it can become easy for me to pass off like a mediocre video and just by sharing it like a cool insight and thinking that I did something. But I think the, the principle I'm trying to learn here is how to have integrity with the work that I do, that even though people are not watching these videos, even though no one knows really what I'm on, um, what time I'm on and what I'm what I'm what I'm about to accomplish. Um, I know that in the future later, people will want to look back at these videos to figure out how I did what I did. And so I got to be consistent in uploading. I have to be consistent with the quality of my message, even with the tone of my voice, because the last couple of videos I've been, I've sounded like I've been dead, like I've been monotone and I'm trying to talk with more passion, with more energy. So you guys can tell exactly what I'm on, like I said, but anyways, the theme of the video today is to not forget to look up. Basically, there's too much going on around you for you to be focused on your own self. But I learned this lesson um, through, you know, in the gym, I've had a lot of success, I would say, relative to my own my own starting point. So I started off squatting um, in November of 2021. And I think the, the most I could do at that point, let's say might have been 185. Um, and then I went home because uh, I was living um, away from my family. And then I went home and I got we had our little gym set up and I started going hard on squats. I went from 185 to now being able to squat 315. And most of it, like obviously there were strength gains made, but most of it, like along with muscle mass was just like improved biomechanics. I was able to improve um, the efficiency of my force output. My tendons and ligaments and bones all got stronger and denser and all that contributed to a greater lift. The thing that I haven't been able to get over yet is how I still look down at my feet when I squat and recently in the gym, I saw a guy who was doing like four something, 400 pounds plus, and he was squatting with like near perfect form. So I went up to him, I asked him some questions and I realized that he was kind of not only looking forward, but kind of looking up. So basically the line of his, his hips to his back, to his neck was all a perfectly straight line. And he was looking up. I asked him about that. He was like, yeah, man, like you just got to pick a spot on the wall and you got to squat while you're looking at that spot. Um, I don't know if like, May, obviously everyone's so we all have the same appendages but everyone's proportions are different so this guy's looking up when i tried practicing this like i could do it but i feel like looking forward works a little bit better on the other hand maybe it's just because it's easier and and being easier does not always equate to being better so I, i've been experimenting with this and by the way this is workout footage from a few days ago but um yesterday i had a squad session where i did pretty well i would say so my 315 pr i just hit um, a month ago was with a form of a low bar squat, similar to what I'm doing here. And yesterday I realized, you know, like to have really um, the the full, I guess the full package of strength gains, I need to be able to do the same number, 
but with varying different stances in my squat. And so I decided to try and go for high bar. And so I did 295 yesterday, which is just like 20 pounds short of uh, my PR. Um, the thing that I realized is that it, it just takes a little bit of practice. There's always something that seems hard at the beginning. And once you try it the first time, you're almost discouraged to continue doing it. But then you keep going a little bit more and you break through some kind of wall or barrier. So I was looking up at, at the wall during the squat session. And then I realized it was starting to make me feel off balance. And I was like scared that I would fall. But then the more I did it with lower weight, I just realized, you know what? It's not too bad. I just got to get used to it. And yesterday, I was as happy with my squats as I've been in a long time. And it was amazing. I think just literally the alignment of your head, which is it goes back to the theme of the message is keeping your head up, making sure your head's in the right place, keeping your integrity, all those things. Wherever your head goes, the rest of the body follows. It's like, I, th I think I heard that one time, like related to swimming is like, if you keep your head up, then your body floats up. You put your head down and your body goes down like while you're diving or something. And anyways, um, my focus. So in the gym right now, my focus is on converting my strength into more of a like explosive strength, powerful strength, um, not just being able to do like, um, you know, the traditional lifts, but to also convert to more athletic abilities. You can see my my huge gut right there hanging out. That needs to be gone. But what's what's interesting is how I was I, I used to be afraid of this because I would get when anytime I start getting progress in fitness and like getting stronger and stuff, I would notice how my abdominal wall would strengthen and also the muscles would get larger. And so it'd make my stomach look bigger. And then I was I was fearful of like, well, if I lose weight, I'm just gonna look fat anyways. But what I'm coming to realize is that the more that you fill out your natural frame with just the muscle mass that's there, the more attractive and the more naturally aesthetic it looks. And it's just the fat that looks unesthetic. So um, basically, if I were to lose 20 pounds of fat right now, I would l probably look somewhat like amazing, at least uh, comparative to what I've looked in the past, not compared to other people. But um, I think it's important to recognize, like I said, um, knowing the integrity of doing the right things and keeping everything in the proper in the proper order. So if I were to be so insecure about my ab muscles getting bigger that I would stop working out heavy just so that my abs would get smaller, then I would never really make the progress I would like ultimately that I would want to make. My waist might look smaller, but then I would never um I would never achieve like the the physical feats that I want to do. I would never be able to do a backflip, never be able to do a handstand push up or anything like that. Or bench um bench four hundred pounds. All those things um they require a strong abdominal wall ab abdominal wall. And basically if I'm gonna trade my like my long-term goals and success for a short-term covering of an insecurity and stuff like that, then I will have failed as far as um, envisioning my my desired results. Basically, I would have I would have compromised on my goal. So anyway, so I keep, I keep going, uh, building up my strength wherever it comes because my body just has a natural like almost like a predestined like a a genetic code where based on the stimulus that I'm giving it, my body's gonna respond how it responds. And I will just have to learn how to be happy with that look. Um, I think that's the most important part is people don't realize is that your natural aesthetic is going to look good um, in its peak form, whatever that form is. But we, we, what we try and do all the time is we try and we try and manipulate our aesthetic through unnatural means. I think that's kind of like the basic thing of bodybuilding is trying to achieve a, a look that cannot be attained naturally. Um, it has to come through basically through, uh, I guess, improper training techniques which I'll, I'll have to go into that into, in another time but anyways what i'm doing right here these static holds i didn't put all the sets in there because it was a long it's basically just me holding weight and it's kind of boring anyways this is uh my way of training my upper back and my shoulders and also i guess my hips by extension because everything under the bar is getting worked um through gravity but i want to increase my upper back strength and shoulder mobility so that way in the future, I can be doing like the the overhead squats, basically, with with a decent amount of weight, because um, that's the only way I think I'll get close to doing a handstand is at this point is by doing this. And yep, that was like a PR for me, I think, and and it didn't feel too bad. I've just been working up to it for a few months. But anyways, that's the video for today. I hope anyone that was listening felt you know good about my message, felt inspired to do something today. Go be active. Um, don't let yourself be limited by the progress you've already made. Just look ahead to what other goals you could set. What does God want you to become? What does he want you to do? Think about all those things and you, you'll be okay. Anyways, that's the video for me. Uh, it feels funny saying this, but I'm going to say I'm going to close in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.